Matthew Axelson, we had his mother, Donna, on our program just two days ago, and uh, she loved the movie. Thought it was very realistic. Uh, she, you had warned her it was going to be graphic. She knew that going in. Here's a little soundbite what she told us a couple days ago. At the end of the movie, he shows still images of all 20 of the men. And some of the images, they're in their military uniform. Some of the images, they're, uh, it's at their wedding um, with their children. And um, I was sitting beside Cindy Matthews' widow while we were watching this. And when they came to Matthew, they did um, a video clip from the wedding. And that was the hardest because now he was alive again and moving. And Later in the interview, she thanked you and the actor who portrayed her son for bringing him back to life for two hours. I mean, she's a, she's a wonderful woman and uh, a, a, obviously a very loving mother. And, you know, wh when I read Marcus Luttrell's book, w one of the things that I loved so much was that I, I was able to divorce myself from, from the politics of the, uh, of the Afghan war. And, and I think that what what he did so well was to say okay look you might be for it you might be against it let's let's push that aside for a second and let's kind of agree that these were great men and these these men had mothers and fathers and sisters and brothers and many of them had children who loved them very much and these men went to that country for us they went for our country they would have gone for a democratic president they would have gone for a republican president they would go to protect you they would go to protect me and these men gave their lives for that and if i, I believe it's it really is our responsibility as citizens of this country to at least acknowledge what these men and women are doing to acknowledge the fact that there are bad people out there, and there, are, there is a great need for people like Matt Axelson, like Mar Marcus Sattrell, like Danny Dietz and, and Michael Murphy, men and women that are willing to put themselves in between us so that we can sit here and live our lives and legitimate evil. And these men deserve to be respected. We should understand how they live, and we should not be afraid to look at how they die so that, you know, as I always say to people that are like, well, you're not criticizing the war in Afghanistan enough. I'm like, well, okay, that's not really my goal with the film. My goal is to show what really happens. What happens if you send men like Marcus Luttrell into harm's 